Well, last week, tens of thousands of residents in Boulder were forced out of their homes by the wind-whipped wildfires. In just a few short hours, over 500 homes burned to the ground. And among those who lost everything were Wisconsin natives and UW-Madison grads Megan Monroe and her husband, Brian Fuentes. Our Mark Kane is here now with their story. Mark? Susan Eric, Megan Monroe grew up in Lake Mills and moved to the Boulder, Colorado area with her husband, Brian, and their two children, a six-year-old daughter and a four-year-old son a few years ago. They built their dream house in the foothills and were building the perfect life. That life was turned upside down last Thursday. We were all home and um, it was just horribly windy all morning. So it's, we were all just inside. Um, it was really the wind was on like any windstorm in that it just was so consistent. Brian went outside around 1130 in the morning. He saw smoke in the distance and a fire truck. Megan lifted the kids up to the window so they could see the trucks go by. And when I put him back down, I could see the flame. Um, so we just immediately turned and left. They went to a friend's um, house and hunkered down. A few days later, the sheriff let them back to their house or what used to be their house. I mean, our house um, is unbelievable. I mean, everything's completely melted or burned and, and gone and nothing's there. It's, it's just complete and total loss for us and for so many people, I think, um, and, and it came so fast. And it was so devastatingly fast that I feel lucky that we just got out and we're okay. Lucky they're okay. And lucky for the tremendous amount of support from friends, and even strangers. We're staying at a little cabin and I met two people walking this morning and I just lost it with them. I just cried and I've never met them, but I just saw. I think just the human connection of strangers and, and family and friends and community coming together has been, yeah, truly inspiring and um, a real joy, especially during COVID times when everyone's been so isolated. As for what's next for Bang and Brian and the kids, well, it's a little too early to tell. They built their old house by themselves, and they're not sure they have the emotional strength right now to redo it. For now, they're just happy that no lives were lost amid the massive destruction.